Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got things that go bump and Monster Mash smushy. I've started off with Peel Ease as my base coat, and I've got Bitsy's Flawless as my base color, and I've also got my latex on, and I've added some Pro FX Quick Dry top coat. I'll be using Sister Chic Things That Go Bump and Sister Chic's Monster Mash from her Halloween Trio. I'll be using my little mat and my Galaxy Stamper from Born Pretty or AliExpress. And of course, you see I got my latex on because I don't want to make a mess all over my fingers. I'm just going to do this like I typically do them. Um, putting dots of the color down on the mat. I know a lot of people do them straight onto the um, stamper, but I just I can't bring myself to do that. I don't know why. So I just use my little mat and I am applying those colors. And the original plan was just to, you know, not really do smush smush and keep smushing and adding, but you know, I can't leave well enough alone. So um, I end up kind of making it a little muddy looking. But I decided that was okay. In the end, I was like, that's fine. It'll be okay. Because I am going to use another polish here in a little bit to um, do some highlighting. I cleaned my stamper off on my lint roller. And I'm going to go back in with more dots and do some more smush smush to this manicure. I just really wanted to see some purple and green. I just really, really, really wanted to see this. So... I'm glad I got a chance to do it. See, that one's got a lot of purple on it, so I'm trying to get some green on there, too. Um, I really do end up liking this one. It's kind of a funky, strange kind of mani, and, and sometimes that's just what I'm in the mood for. Sometimes maybe you're in the same kind of mood, so maybe this will give you an idea. So I am trying to make sure that the white is covered up going in and using little bits and pieces and dabbing them in and then I just decide you know let's just do some more just keep doing it until you like how it looks there we go some more some more I got some more and I do like this technique this is just it's messy but it's fun and, you know, that's what I'm all about is having some messy fun up in my mani cave and sharing it with you all. So I've decided there's a couple of spots that I need some green. So I'm just taking just the brush and kind of dabbing some blobs in because you know what? You can do that. It doesn't have to 100% be all smushed on with that stamper. It's your nails. You do what you want. I am using that stamper just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. You know, make it a little smooth. And there we go. We got some smushing done. I'm going to use this tape to help remove my latex. Snap. There we go. There we go. And I will be cleaning up with some acetone and my little cleanup brush. And like I said, we're not done with it here. It's not, it's not finished yet. And this was the original plan all along to do this uh, next step. And um, I just could see it in my head. Of course, I wasn't planning on the manicure or the smishy part being so muddy looking. But we're, we're okay with it. Like I said, I'm not mad about it. I'm good. So I'll be using the Sister Chic. And this is the Silvery Moon. This one was from her fall collection. I'm going to put some out on my little mat. And I'm going to use a little detail brush. It's just a little generic nail brush. It's an OO. It's all wonky and everything, but I don't care. So I'm just going to go in and just willy-nilly, all hither, no heather, and just going to just do some little squiggly marks on it. I'm not drawing like a pattern or a leaf or nothing. I'm just putting some squigglies in there, and I'm just calling them highlights. And it's just to add something extra to it. And after I got done, I thought, well, you know, they kind of look like swirly little ghosts. They just don't have little ghost faces or anything, but they do kind of look like little woo, floating all over the nail. <laughs> so I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat, get it to dry down, and seal all that in. And 
I would um, love to hear what you think about this craziness that I got going on. And let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. Because I always love hearing from you. I've got a swatch photo coming up here very soon. I hope you enjoyed this one. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.